Hey everybody, Hercursia is here. Welcome back to Beholder 3. So, uh, we're going to ignore the phone for a little while. Because I have 120 hours to answer it. So why would I answer it? So let's look around, talk to people, uh, find some crap. And get to work. Search. Dude, I've got socks. No, we're not answering that. Did they send me anything? No. Room. Hey, kiddo. Um, I had to took away my police costume. Um, mother told me to leave her alone. Hmm. So, the short of it is, uh... Alfred's sister took his police costume. He wants me to talk to her. I said I'll have a word with her. Let's go look. Hmm. How is your dad under doing? Hmm. Any news in your life? Everything all right? Don't you miss your husband? Hmm. The kids are fine. The husband is not in a business trip. I think it's been kind of implied. Where's the other little girl? Hello, store. What do you got for me? Uh, well, I am eventually going to need heating oil, descaler. So I might as well buy those things. Hmm. I'm not answering the phone. You can go to hell. How about you? What's up? Let's ask you something. If it can't be avoided. Do you have a family? You live here alone, don't you? What's it to you? Well, listen, I am the caretaker. I must know who lives here. Nobody else lives here, only me. Happy now? Any visitors? Uh, do you also need to know that because you're the caretaker? Of course. So, do you have any visitors, I mean? No, never. Are we finally done? Huh. He's a bit of a loner, huh? I know. Looks like trash needs to be taken care of. Oh, looks like I found the kid's uh, police outfit. Hmm. All right, where's little Alfred? Oh, hey, little girl. The costume was in the trash. I found the costume idea. It's not nice to throw your brother's stuff in the trash. Then just give it back and give him back the effing costume. He'll go back to playing an effing state policeman. I will, but Ida, you really shouldn't talk like that. I know that, but I don't care. It doesn't matter anyway. You shouldn't th say things like that, Ida. If you say so. What's new, Ida? How are you? How's school? I'm fine. We made the great leader out of a cardboard at school today. Ah, oh, did you? Did you turn out well? My teacher scolded me for giving the great leader big ears. But my mother said I did a good job. Your mother better be careful. What? Why? Never mind. Let's leave it. Hmm. Hey, kiddo. Yeah, I was just about to chill for a bit. Anything urgent? This can't go on, Ken. Kim. You two need to get get on the same page. But Dad, <clears throat> Kim, please listen to me. You and your mother need to talk to each other again, please. Can't you meet her halfway? You can't meet Mom halfway, Dad. 
There are only two ways. The Sabine Schwarz way or the wrong way. She hates me. She hates everything that I am. She doesn't hate you. She doesn't hate you, honey. What makes you think that? Your mother's under a lot of pressure as a pioneer leader. Uh... Hmm... Can you... Wear other clothes? Could you put on a nice shirt? That way you'd be helping your mother out a little bit. I don't... I don't think it... I don't think about it, Dad. Mother only thinks about herself. She wants to live her perfect little life, and I am a disturbing factor in it. Kim. Don't, Dad. Ugh. So how do you like it here? It's fine, since I got killer, everything's absolutely pretty cool. Killer? The rat? Well, the cute little baby rat you gave me. I see, don't let your mother see it. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. Besides, I've made friends with someone. Oh, with whom? With Uli from upstairs. She's cool. With her of all people? Did she teach you to talk like that? Language? Now, you almost sound like that nerd from 3, Dad. Which Burgoyne? Which Burgoyne's from 3? And what did he say? I don't know his name. He told me I should go to the hairdresser. Such a fucking burgoy's. Uh, your hairstyle is wild. My hair is a little wild, Kim. A little wild? You're cute, Dad. Mom threatened me with a razor. And the woman with the two kids pulled her breasts protectively behind her. I think she thought I was trying to mooch off her or something. You're the one who gives out the rentals, right? Can you get any more girls in my age in the house? That'd be really cool. <clears throat> I'll see what I can do. Uh-huh. Hey, where's Sabine? Sabine? Yeah, I hear you ringing, but you can still go to hell. Hey, boy. About the costume. Here's your police costume, Alfred. I fished it out of the trash. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Schwartz. Thank you very much. Your sister doesn't like the uniform at all. Better make sure she doesn't take it away from you again. I will do that, Mr. Schwartz. Thank you very much. You really need to see a doctor, Alfred. Yes, yes, Mr. Schwartz. You're really sweet, almost like daddy. What are you doing? I'm playing. So, so, and what do you play? That's secret, Mr. Shores. Oh, too bad, but you can tell me. Unfortunately not, Mr. Shores, otherwise I have to kill you, like the people at the border. Oh, I see, then you better not tell me. Anything new? Do you know, Mr. Shores, that you can write on paper with vinegar and then you have secret ink? Really? No, I didn't know that yet. But it's like that in, when you bake it in the oven, you can read the writing. But you mustn't tell anyone that Mr. Schwartz's secret, secret agent knowledge. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Huh. Did I get any money? I did. I got a little bit of money. Hmm. Nobody home? Anybody here? Hey! Alright, this guy smokes cigarettes. Let's go take a look! That's a wolf. Oh, profile. There we go. Nope, nope. Anybody else with any information I haven't, uh, oops. Okay, this is my family. Uh, okay. Father, what is it? 
Nothing? Jovia does. Frank, what do you want? About you and Kim. I talked to Kim. And what did she say? She won't change. She won't change to being Kim is like that. The stubborn child. Doesn't she know what, she, what that means? Uh, I think her decision is right. I'm quite happy about it. I think her decision is right. You didn't want her to change for my sake, did you? Can't we love her the way she is? This is not whether we love her, Frank. What is? What else is it about it, Sabine? It's about whether or not Kim has a place in our society. And if the answer is no, then it's our fault, yours and mine. I'd rather be the nice mom, too. But I can't be. And you shirk your responsibility as a father. Say something, Frank. Do you want our daughter to end up in prison? I won't let that happen. Believe me, Sabine. I know how to prevent that. But then you'll have to do something about it, Frank. You're just a janitor. You can't do anything about it. Property manager. All right. I don't need to answer a stupid phone. You go to hell. Schwarz, old chap, what's up? How are you? Miss Wyans, he says, I'm laughing my head off. Well, it's okay. You're Kim's dad, right? Yeah, why? <clears throat> Kim and I are friends. She thinks the world of you. That's why I like you too. Uh, thank you. Hmm. All right, how are bills? No bills. I like that. I guess we can get started on the next, uh... Okay. Looks like I've talked to everybody. Alright. Here's Mr. Schwarz. Schwarz, we have an unofficial assignment for you. Unofficially? What's this about? Penicillin is currently in short supply. I've read about it. Smugglers and bootleggers steal stock. Right. They're all spies. Paid from abroad. They have the task of harming our great nation. Of course they did. Those bastards. We suspect that a resident of your home is one of these bootleggers. The man's name is Magnus Herman. He is said to specialize in trafficking penicillin and other drugs. And he steals it from those who desperately need it? Terrible. What do you want me to do? Bring us evidence that proves Herman's guilt, Schwarz. That won't be so hard. Hmm. Frank can break into other people's apartments. To do so, click on the door and the other icon to get inside. Note that the inhabitants of the apartment may be at home. If you get caught, Frank will be kicked out of the apartment and an invoice will come in. Caution. Other residents can hear Frank better when he sprints. Hmm. We have 105 hours. Oh! I'm glad I answered it when I did then. All right, well, this is Magnus's apartment. Is he home? No. It's time to go in. Search. Hmm. Unusual vase. Uh, hi, Herman. I don't remember inviting you in. So get the hell out of here. Oh, well. I thought I would get an invoice. Oh, halt. Hands out of your pockets and stop. We have received a report that someone is prowling around in someone else's home, possibly trying to steal something. And lo and behold, caught red-headed. But I am the janitor. It is my job to keep everything or every or, or everywhere in the house. We'll see about that. Say where you are. I have to search you now. Ah. Mananata go. Ugh. Oh. Whoa. That's a big penalty. Ouch.
Dagon Bivanti. Uh, regarding the penicillin deliveries, surely you've heard about the missing penicillin shipments plaguing our country, right? What does that have to do with me? Well, you hear things like that. You're supposed to be able to get goods. Because they're otherwise hard to get? I don't know who told you that, but it's nonsense. I see. Oh, I must have been misinformed. That's the way it has to be. Hmm. I have to install a camera in his apartment. Uh, but I need to make a little bit of money here. I believe... Yep. I can profile him just a little bit more. Can I go buy a camera? 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 I don't need this. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. What about you? I'll take that camera. Uh, anything interesting here? 1400 for penicillin. Damn. But yeah, this is definitely the guy that we walk in on getting his ass beat in the beginning of the very first game. Oh. What's up with this plant? Nothing? Okay. Pardon me. Is there anything in there? Everything's good. I received a hundred dollars for nothing. Okay. I don't want to try. Can I walk in there while he's sleeping? Nah, I don't want to try. So let's look around for stuff. Is there anything on the table here? Ooh, a newspaper. Sell that newspaper. All right. Oh, no, oh, hold on. Give me that. Give me that. All right, now we're good to go. Hmm. So this is where Sabine goes to work. see if fatty's actually leaving because if fatty's actually leaving i'll go snoop around his apartment to profile him a little bit more all right he is <clears throat> right this is his right yeah okay
Back in. All right. Let's see if Herman's left yet. Oh, I was going to say, what? You can get a clear view of all installed cameras. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Actually, let me see that again. Let me see what she kind of does. Let's see if she does anything I can profile her for. Drinks coffee. Mmm, coffee. All right. Illegal activities and items can be reported in relation to a person. To do this, click on Frank's replacement and then on report. If the report is accepted by the department, the report will be arrested immediately. In the world of Frank, many items are illegal. This is determined by ordinances. These ordinances have a number of certain associated with activities or items. When reporting, you can select the particular ordinance and report the found item from a resident. Hmm. All right, Frankie. It's time to do some stuff. All right, so first... Uh, all right, report. Hmm. Oh, I have to select a violation. Um, huh. Penalty for formal error. Are we for real? Oh my god, shut up. Well, my son plays the trumpet. How about that? Will you guys accept that? There we go. Get my money back. Write a report about Max Herman's illegal activity. How do I do that, though? Uh, where's the ordinances that I can see? Ah, okay. Regulation 6031. Crying cleanses the soul and relaxes. For this reason, the Great Leader allows it. Uh, offering sex, no. Ah, 6025. Due to the optimized public health restru restructuring, private possession and handling of penicillin is temporarily prohibited. Okay. Wait, what was it again? It's a uh, 6025. Okay. 
All right, get back in. Report. Six zero two five. Send. All right. <clears throat> you have written a report with evidence about a person. The police will arrive shortly and arrest the reporter person. Arrested persons will lose their apartment and you will not be able to talk to them. <clears throat> and I got a buttload of money for it. Snap, he got stun gunned. Man, that's brutal. Well, didn't that suck? Hmm. So renovate his apartment. We'll rent it. No one wants to move in. Hmm. We'll call Ernest. <sighs> Call Ernest. Hello, who is this? Here's Mr. Schwartz. Ah, you're just what I need. Have you found evidence that we can use Pyramid away? Yes, the report Herman has been written. Keep up the good work. Every successful order stands between you and the mines. Thank you very much. I don't get cocky, Schwartz. What now? Find new tenants. Answer the phone. Frank Schwartz here. What's going on there with you? Mr. Muller, what do you think? Half the house is empty. That's not how it works. Oh, but you told me yourself to tell Magnus Herman. Shut up, Schwartz. You're going to see it. See to it that the apartments are rented out. And fast. Have I myself clear? Yes, Mr. Muller. Thank you. Renting. When a resident moves out, the apartment is left empty. Before someone new can move in, the apartment must be first renovated for a sum of money. Once everything is renovated, click on rent and someone will move in. Well, I didn't know that because I totally wasn't trying. All right, apartment two. Uh, Christian Sollinger, man in his prime, single, looking for a job, just needs some place to live. Uh, Frederica Feynman, woman, 28, single, figure skater, looking for a relaxing home near the rank. I like uh, Frederica. And I can rent him, too. There you go. I have rented everything. Oh, she's got a cute little outfit. <clears throat> yes. Good afternoon, Miss Feynman. My name is Shores. I am the caretaker here, and I take care of everything. Ah, uh, the caretaker. I'm glad to hear that. Nice to meet you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. I'm very interested in who lives in my house. Could you maybe answer a few questions for me? It's a bit awkward here, isn't it? Maybe you could just come by my place anytime. Okay, so she'll only talk when I'm in. What's the mood? Why are you bothering me here? How are you doing in the apartment? How are you? How do you like our house? Well, so-so. What do you mean by that? I've seen worse. Is there something wrong? Are you dissatisfied with anything? It's quite a distance to the kiosk. The cask is right side of the door. Always have to climb all those stairs. It's really hard with all those bottles. Ah, I see. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about that. Otherwise, everything okay? Yes, yes. Anything else? Soccer is coming up. Interesting. Really? A friend from the past. Answer the phone. Hmm. Um... 
I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need that. And I have that and that. So we're good to roll. <laughs> Let's fix things up. Alrighty. Alright, you know what? This is a good spot to stop. This is all the time I have for right now. So I hope you're new to the channel. If you are, make sure to hit that like button, make a comment, subscribe, notification bell, do all that stuff. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.